the name of Clean Stomach. He has released a new book entitled Two Plus Bowel Movements a Day, A Natural Way to Maintain Going to the Toilet Regularly, Getting Rid of Excess Weights, and Becoming More Lean. So uh, how are you doing today, Clean Stomach? I'm fine. Thank you for having me. So I understand uh, your book was inspired by your own personal experience. Yes. Um, it, it, it started when, I, I, think it's true, I think it's true to say that it started when my, my wife was diagnosed with diabetes. So we, we changed our, our eating habit. You know, we cut out sugar and, you know, we just, my wife just really went militant. But, but to make a long story short, um, she would always, um, she introduced to me, like, um, eating, eating like a, instead of using bread <laughs> for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, she introduced to me like a tortilla. So I was like, wow. So I, I, I started doing that in the, in the mornings, every morning. I liked it so much, I would eat it every morning. And so basically, I, I, I called it a, a peanut butter and jam taco. And um, in the book, I, I, I listed, you know, uh, step by step on how to make it from, from beginning to end. And so if anyone's interested, that's, that, that, that could be like a breakfast treat or even an afternoon treat for them um, if they're interested. But pretty much that part right there is a freebie. It's in the book. And that everything else as far as like the, the full regimen on, on how to maximize your bowel movement when you go into the restroom, it's, it's in the book. So if anyone is interested, they can, they can grab the book. Definitely. And so like, um, I guess like, you know, after you were eating these, these sandwiches for breakfast and stuff or anything, you started to, uh, your stomach started to become more lean? Yeah. Um, basically, too, what happened was um, I know, noticed that, well, to make a long story short, I, I knew that I was always regular, that I, in my mind, I was regular. I would go to the bathroom every day. And I'm a type of person where I don't like to use a public restroom. So I'll make, I'll do everything in my power to use the restroom before I go to work or before I went to school. And so, yeah, I would, you know, just whatever, you know, have, do a number two. But when I got on this regiment, it, the, the number two pretty much was beyond number two. Like er, everything came out. And I, I would notice that like every day. And I said to myself, wow, this, this is crazy. And I, and I, I, I would just say, what, well, I can't, I can't believe that much waste was inside of me. And then the second thing is, like, like over time, my relatives started noticing that I, I, I was slimming down. My coworkers were, were noticing that my, my clothes weren't fitting me properly. And so I, I put two and two together. I was like, okay, well, when, I, when I've been going to the restroom, I've been doing way more than I, I used to do. So this this ha this have to tie in with me losing weight. So I'm like, okay, well then I gotta I gotta put this, I gotta write this down, you know, to help people to see, okay, well maybe this this can be an, an alternative to help you know, not only help them use the restroom but also also to slim down. So uh, did you notice like an improvement in your body's like overall health? Yeah, I I could say that um, I was pretty much like this. I would I would I would get around quicker, and I, I would feel lighter. I, I would feel less bloated um, th um, throughout the day. Um, this you know some and 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 the book is is transparent. I mean, I I put everything out there, you know, and um, even even my wife, you know, she she would tell me like at night. I, I would pass gas and she would go, she would, it would be horrible, but that, that, that stopped, you know what I mean? <laughs> so every, every, I put everything out there in the book. I don't care. I'm just trying to be, you know, truthful. And so, yeah, I, I noticed that a lot of, a lot of things changed for me, like, like physically. So. Man, that's uh, incredible. Uh, where can people uh, get the book? Okay. The book right now is available on amazon.com. So that's the only place it's available. This is like my first time ever like writing a book. And so maybe in the future, who knows, maybe we, we can add it to different platforms or maybe in the store, who knows, but right now it's on amazon.com. 
And uh, you also have a blog too. Uh, it's called the Lamert Park blog.com. Yes. Um, I, I started this blog to the main reason was to promote the book. Um, I, I have a, I have a relative that's also on an author. He's like a professor and an author. And I was trying to get it from him. And he was, he was telling me to, to do social media, get into social media to help promote your book. And I was like, okay, whatever. And so I, I signed up for social media for Twitter and things like that. But there was, there was like one event that really got me to start blogging. And like a couple of years ago, there was a, I, you may have remember, there were two brothers, they went into a Starbucks in Philadelphia and they were waiting for like their business partner. Yeah, so yeah. the manager on duty pretty much, I guess didn't like them like hanging around. So he, um, she called the, um, the cops on them. And I was like, okay, well, you know, that happens. I mean, you know, where we live in the US that, you know, things like that will happen. Um, but what, what really like um, made me, um, how did, what really pissed me off was like the so-called believers in the, in the in the in the Christian community. They pretty much threw these two guys that um, under the bus. That the ones that got arrested, they put the blame on them, and they made the manager to be out of victim. That really that really like pissed me off so much. To, and ever since then, I started blogging, and so I would blog about um, current events from a faith-based perspective. Um, and basically the blog is also for spiritual wellness, physical wellness, and we look at everything as far as like current events that affect our community and not only our community, but the, the, the true body of believers as a whole. I try to speak truth to them. And in, in this, who knows, maybe just give, give the world something that's, that's genuine. So, yeah, you are and, 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 and also, like, lift. Go, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, you bring up a really interesting. What were you saying? And everything. Uh, you bring up a really interesting point, uh, because like you know, um, you know, like you know, for most like you know, uh, social movements and stuff, usually the church is present. Like you know, uh, like with the civil rights activism. But you notice like there's not a lot of faith leaders who are like really behind like you know Black Lives Matter movement. And there's a lot of people and stuff everything who are saying that the Black Lives Matter movement is like anti, uh, it's an anti-religious movement. I think like Pat Robeson recently released a statement and stuff everything. He's a televangelist, obviously. But uh, you know, what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, I, you know, I'm I'm like this. Um, as far as like um BLM is concerned, I'm I'm not really in into all that. Because I, I here's the thing I I do look at at things from a perspective, and and bear me bear with me when I when I say this, for example, like if I'm if I'm if I'm out there wilding out, and I'm going to how can I say this? I'm not I won't be surprised if something something bad happened to me. I'm not trying to be mean, like for me the way I was raised, if um. If I get pulled over by the cops, or if the cops want to stop, I'm gonna stop. Right. You know, um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna obey the command. I'm because I want to live. I have I have a family to support. I have I have family that care about me, so I'm not gonna run. You know what I mean? When I get pulled over, and I and th truth be told, a lot of these guys who 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 get who get hurt, they run, and it, it's no it's no reason to do so because you see what happens when, when they run. Because maybe that, maybe that cop had a bad day or the adrenaline is pumping. But when you run, it's like, come on, man. I mean, if, if you really want to see your children at the end of the day, <laughs> this, this comply. So, and I think that part of the narrative isn't being addressed by BLM. They're thinking, okay, it's only the bad cops or, or whatever, but it, it works two ways. This, if you get pulled over and, and if you feel like you got slighted, then make your complaint later on. Save yourself, be alive, and go, go the next day or whatever and file your complaint. Don't try to argue your case right then and there because, man, you know, the way, especially like some of the, some of the way these people got, went out, it, it's very sad.
and um and and maybe in, in my blog i I've, I've addressed that before all you got to do is comply li- you know get through that moment and then file your complaint you know what i mean and, and things are things eventually get done maybe not always, always but things will eventually get done so that's my that's my view on and on that whole matter i don't all these political and and politicians and all that trying to i don't know it's just <laughs> just you know just how do you, how do you, um, cool, calm down, cool down, so that you can live to see, because the cops, they see their families, you, you understand? So, and, I, and I'm pretty sure your mom or your dad doesn't, don't, you don't want your mom or dad to get that call, say, okay, come and, come and, come and identify your body in the morgue. No way, man. Just comply, live, and then file a complaint the next day. That's how I see it. <laughs> Yeah, man, I couldn't agree with you more. And uh, like, you really don't hear a lot of people like, you know, uh, kind of advocating for, uh, for that. Uh, but like, also like, you know, and stuff, everything like, you know, I, I do know, like, you know what I mean? And stuff, everything that there is like, you know what I mean? Like harassment and stuff, everything by the police, but it's not the right time and stuff, everything to start fighting your case. Like while, you know, the police are, you know, stopping you, detaining you, or if they're, uh, you know, like resisting, resisting arrest, you know, in the case of so many, but um, Clean Stomach, man, uh, thank you so much for taking the time, and uh, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much, sir. And um, thank, you, thank you for what you do on, on helping these um, aspiring like, writers and authors come out. Though. So thank you so much. So God bless you. God bless you as well.